Alright guys, in today's video we're going to talk about how to operate a zero turn mower. We've actually had a couple questions from our Toro video, people wanting to know how to operate zero turn mowers, and we're going to try to dumb it down the best way that we possibly can to let you guys know how to operate zero turn mower. Well, here's a little story about two friends that came together And we started up a YouTube just to talk about whatever We're on a boat catching big bass and smashing them cats From review videos to just making you laugh Cause we got guns, we got knives, we got fishing, we got hunting We got everything you like, so hit that subscribe button We're in the outdoors, doing things that we love We're talking guitars, girls, green grass, and guns So it may be a little more simple than what you think So driving a zero turn mower is exactly like pushing a shopping cart around. There is no difference whatsoever. The way you drive a shopping cart is exactly the same way that you would drive a zero turn mower. It's all about pushing and pulling and that's exactly what you're doing on a shopping cart. All of the other physics of a shopping cart goes along with a zero turn mower as well. You have the front casters on the front end. So the front end wants to fall downhill all the time. So you got to be on your game and pushing uphill when you're riding your zero turn mower. It's always pushing and pulling just as you would on a shopping cart. It is just as unpredictable as a shopping cart as well. Like I said, when you're on a side hill, the front end will want to fall down and you'll need to push that front end back up as you're driving alongside of the hill. When you're going down a hill, you lose a lot of traction on a zero turn mower going down a hill. That's because the casters are on the front end. You're sitting in front of the rear tires and that's going to leave all of the front end on your casters. There's no traction, there's no driving effort up here, and there's no steering effort up here. So when you're going downhill on a zero turn, it's not the best option. It's not the best option to go up a steep hill either, but if you do go up hills, it is best to go up a hill rather than to go down a hill. As far as traction, not safety. So now that we have this concept in your mind, let's go over to the zero turn. So like I say, now getting back onto the zero turn, you can kind of see what I mean how it's all about the push and pull, just like on a shopping cart. If you want to go straight forward, you got to push evenly with both sides. The same with backing up. You got to pull evenly and push evenly on both sides. Now just like the shopping cart, if you only push with one hand, the shopping cart's going to turn. And that's exactly the same on this zero turn mower. If you push over here on the left side, it's going to turn to the right, just like a shopping cart. It, it's a lot more simple than what's going on in your mind. Before this video anyway, I really hope this helps out. So backing up, it's the same way. Back up, if you want to throw your cart around to the left, you do it just like a shopping cart. Just keep that shopping cart in your mind. Another helpful tip is never put this in full throttle when you first start out. You can always mess up in a slower throttle. The higher the throttle that you have, the higher the consequence is on you messing up. So always practice at a lower throttle. So let me put that into demonstration for you real quick. We're going to go forward and we're going to turn right. It's like a shopping cart.
So the question that I got one time is how does a beginner get on their zero turn mower in the garage and take it out and start mowing? That's my best advice for you. Just keep the shopping cart in mind and you'll be good to go. Take your time and keep the throttle down low. Now just because these are considered zero turn mowers does not mean that you need to make zero turns. If you make zero turns on your property, a lot of times your rear tire is actually going to be digging into the, into the ground and tearing up your turf. So always go at your turns at about a three or four point turn. Even though it is a zero turn, it's still best to make those little turns and you will not tear up your property as much as a single zero turn. Let me show you that real quick. That way you're not tearing up your turf. So I hope that this instructional video helped you out. I hope this helped you get your zero turn out of the garage. Always remember when you're on this, if you are going at full throttle, you get confused, just stop. Just stop. Bring these back to center and just stop. Uh, the more you freak out and start messing with these handles, the more you're going to mess up. So the best thing is just take your time, learn how to run it, learn how to run it quicker and quicker each time you go. That way you can turn the throttle up all the way and begin mowing your properties on your zero turn mower. Anyways, I hope this instructional video helped you guys out. If it did, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below. Let me know if this did help you out. I'll see you in the next one. I'm out. your G4 Outdoors. If you like this video, and I know you did, make sure you hit the subscribe button up here. Check out one of these videos right here off to the side. You're going to have a fun time watching these videos, I promise. Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you liked it, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. We'll see you guys later.